Uh, hi, I'm Dinesh D'Souza. I'm the creator and narrator of the film America, which is coming to Cinemark Theatres July 2nd. I'm an immigrant and I'm also a writer, and uh, America is the great topic of my work. And so um, this book, America, sums up my moral case for America, uh, what America's meant to me, but also more broadly, what America offers its own citizens that's unique in the world. It was really fun to, to make a transition and take these ideas uh, and put them into a movie uh, to give people the not just the ideas about America, but the feeling of it and the emotion of it and the experience of America. I think the big difference is in a book you lay out ideas and arguments, one, two, three, four. In a film, you want to have a journey. And in our case, it's a journey that's not just through place, but through time. So that when we explore a particular topic, let's say, for example, were the American founders good guys or bad guys? Uh, did, they, did they create a country that would be a hope for the world? Or did they create a country that was based upon slavery and injustice and hypocrisy? So we'll, we'll send people right back to the American founding and then they're able to watch the debates in Philadelphia or the Lincoln-Douglas debates that led up to the Civil War. So we have fantastic historical recreations in this movie that right in the present drop you into history so you can experience it as it was lived out by real people uh, not that long ago. I think that the historical debates are critical for us today because so much of our politics is based on how we understand our own country. For example, very often in the schools, uh, young people are taught that American history is uh, a series of bad things that happened. You know, here's Christopher Columbus and he came here and he, he took the country from the Indians uh, and then the American founders, you know, they might, might have said all men are created equal, but they allowed slavery in the Constitution. We fought a war with Mexico in the, in the middle of the 19th century. Uh, we took half of Mexico in the Mexican War. So there's a way of presenting America as sort of the evil empire uh, of history. Uh, I don't believe that's true. Uh, I'm not saying that there are facts that the, the critics of America can draw to support their point of view, but there are a whole bunch of facts on the other side that often get left out. And part of what I do in this movie is I try to tell a balanced history of America so that these facts are put in perspective. Um, for example, when the Europeans came here, there were American Indians, uh, but of course the American Indians were fighting with each other. The stronger tribes were taking land from the weaker tribes. So the Spanish conquistadors didn't do anything new. They did what the Indians had already been doing for a long time. Uh, and what America represents, I think, in the world is not just conquest, but the idea of wealth creation, which is to say, making new stuff that didn't exist before. I hope the film generates a lot of debate, and, and that's why it's there. We are a country, and we're often kind of, we become a little bit distracted with our everyday life, and we don't think about our country, and I think we're at a particular, uh, very precarious moment in history in which this American dream, which has been alive now for over a century, is starting to fade for a lot of people. It's trading a lot of cynicism and a lot of bitterness, uh, and I think it's a good time for us to reflect on where we've come and what is the best way to go ahead. The Revolutionary War was a war to create America. The Civil War was uh, a war to preserve America. Uh, World War II was to protect America. And I think now we need the restoration of America. And this film is about why we need that restoration, what kind of restoration we need, and what the ordinary guy can do to help it bring it about.